I was just enjoying a nice cuppa, although it's not a real cuppa, not a, an English cuppa, but some tea. And um, now that I got a little bit of work done, I am going to vacuum Oliver. And if that sounds confusing, don't worry, you'll understand in 0.2 seconds. Okay, a little bit more than 0.2 seconds. Okay, a couple of seconds. <laughs> He just laid down like this automatically. <laughs> he knows exactly what time it is. So when we're vacuuming Oliver, it's basically just getting rid of his undercoat. And even though it's about to be winter, he's shedding so much that he just needs to be vacuumed. So let's do this. I don't know that I can hold the camera and do this at the same time, but you, you'll understand. Uh, okay, here, here's a little sample. like that. And that's really it. Oops, sorry Oliver. <laughs> no, we're not done. <laughs> oh, Oliver. <laughs> Every time, like I give him a, I give him a break in between sides and stuff like that. Yeah. Every time I turn the vacuum on after a break, he farts right in my face because his butt is right here, and they stink. They are horrible. So stop farting on me, please. <sighs> See what I have to deal with? <laughs> wow! Out of nowhere, it just started really raining. Let me go see if I could uh, show you outside how just crazy it is. It just came out of nowhere. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I spent like the last half of today just reading and I finished up Karina Cooper's Tarnished. Oh my goodness. It took me a while to get into this book, but once I did, it really just took off, and it was so good. Um, it is steampunk, but it's different than steampunks I've read, and uh, it's really good. <laughs> it's got a lot of like suspense and stuff in it that was really, really nice to see in steampunk, and the, the world building was great. Ugh, it's so cool, because... Basically, Karina has written about a London that got so filthy and so dirty, they actually raised London proper up in the air. And they go from, like, either gondolas up in the, like, kind of like Venice, but instead of floating on water, they float on air, on ether. Um, and then the below, the actual ground level, is like the grimy, dirty London, like the not good London, and then the above London is um, gentry and aristocrats and stuff like that. So it's very, very, very cool. Um, it's awesome. If you like steampunk at all, read it. And the book also, it has hints, well, not really subtle hints, but some, anyway. It mentions the Ophelia, the airship Ophelia, which is the fictional airship of the uh, steampunk band Abney Park, which if you're not familiar with Abney Park, go to my profile, my channel page, and type in the search bar Abney Park, or you could just search at any YouTube, Abney Park is A-B-N-E-Y-P-A-R-K, two words, Abney Park, and then, um, my name Colt Brito or something like that or um, steampunk Florida festival something like that I can't remember but I I vlogged um, I vlogged the steampunk festival where they played and I also videotaped like I think it's like 37 minutes of their concert that I saw them play so if you want to know what steampunk music sounds like actually I'll put a link right here I've I'll probably have the link here the entire time I'm talking. Click that link, it'll go into a separate window, and you can listen to some steampunk music. So, uh, it's just really, really cool that 
this author ties in Abney Park because they're they're friends, uh, Karina Cooper and uh, like all of the band. I think they're all friends. So it's a really 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 cool. Um, I I loved this book. It took a while to get into, but once I did, it was good. So now I have to figure out what book I'm gonna read next. I think until my tablet comes, I'm just gonna read the paper books that I have. Which, oh my gosh, my tablet shipped today. I'm so excited. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm excited. Um, all right, I have to go to bed since uh, the bedroom my aunt's sleeping in is right above me and she probably thinks I'm crazy. No, she knows I'm crazy. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> and figure out what book to read next. I'll let you know. Good night.